Hi, I'm David. Today we're going to talk about sketching a couple of lines through the same point, but with different slopes. So first we're given the point 3, 4. So let's put that on the graph. That's x equals 3, y equals 4. So x equals 3, y equals 4. That's somewhere right about here-ish. Okay, now we're asked to draw four different lines with four different slopes. Now the slope is a ratio, rise over run. Um, so what I want to do is I want to write each of these as a ratio. Now, if it's an integer like 1, it's not too bad. You can write 1 as 1 over 1. Um, I can always write an integer as itself over 1. So I'll draw another point that's rising 1 and running 1, up 1 and over 1. So from the point 3, 4, I can go up right here, 1 and over 1, to this point 4, 5. And I've got that one right there. And then I draw a straight line that connects them, and I'll have a slope, a line with slope of 1. That looks something like this. Okay, not too bad. The next one we're given is a slope of negative 2. All right, so I can write negative 2 um, a lot of different ways as a ratio, but since it's an integer, I might as well write it as negative 2 over 1. I could write it as negative 4 over 2 or negative 100 over 50 if I wanted to, but negative 2 over 1 is a little easier, I think. All right, so this says I've got to rise negative 2 and run 1. All right, so what does it mean to rise negative 2? Well, if I'm going to rise a negative amount, then I must go down. So I'll go from this point 3, 4, and I'll go down 2. All the way down there. And then I've already gone down. I don't want to go to the left because then, I, then that would be negative 2 over negative 1, which would be 2, not negative 2. I want to go over to the right one. I want to go over 1 to the point 4, 2. Um, if I connect those dots, then I should have a slope, uh, a line of slope negative 2. So let's look at that. Now for the next one, I've got a slope of negative 3 halves. And again, I've got that negative that I've got to consider. I don't want to do negative 3 over negative 2. Um, I want to do negative 3 over 2. So I'm going to do the same strategy that I did before, and I'm going to go down 3 and over 2 this time. So I'll start from my point, and I'll go down 3, all the way down here to y equals 1, and I'll go over 2. To this point right here, 5, 1. Now this line of a slope of negative 3 halves or negative 1 and a half, this is going to be less steep than negative 2. So it's not going to be quite as, as steep. It'll be a little shallower. So I'll draw a straight line connecting these two dots. See how well I can do that. <laughs> That's okay. That's supposed to be a straight line. Uh, this is m equals negative 3 halves. Okay, the last line that I'm asked to draw has an undefined slope. So if I've got a straight line with an undefined slope, the only way that happens is if it's a straight vertical line. Because there's no uh, rise over run because the run is zero. The bottom of my ratio would be zero and, and that's not defined. So this means draw a vertical line that goes through this point three, four. Vertical lines are nice and easy. I just draw them straight up and down. It should go through uh, the point three, four and also hit the x-axis at x equals three. So it does something like this. And here m is undefined. So here are four lines that go through the same point, all with different slopes. Thank you.